Hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy, and today I've got uh, a fun short one, but it's my first impressions with the uh, Remarkable 2, which you can see right here. No, just kidding. I've actually got it and uh, really been having fun with this. It was nice. My wife got this for me as a uh, birthday present, as a surprise. I had seen this last summer, started thinking about it some more, how I could use it, and now uh, putting it through the paces. So this is after about a week. I'm going to be doing some uh, follow-ups for sure on how I really kind of integrate this and what I see as the pros and cons. And, you know, but just to kick this off, like I take notes all the time. If you're watching this, I'm guessing that you probably do too as well, I, right? I just doodle. I use Post-it notes. I wrote or I write in Rome Research. I use Notion, Google Docs, Notebook physical notebooks, I doodle in books I read, all sorts of things. So having a great system to pull all this stuff together, you know, is part of what keeps me productive. You know, whether that's like a GTD type of a method where, you know, you need to take everything and have one place to put it, but that's its own separate topic. But, you know, when I heard about this and thought, okay, well, maybe it's something digital I could use to write a lot of these notes, to draw to outline ideas and just really get things out of my head, right? That's part of that process too of GTD and any real productivity system. We're not perfect hard drives. We want to get this stuff out. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, this is great. And then on top of that, I really like the idea that it's really meant to be that creative and kind of downloading in the sense of getting things out of your head type of a tool. And, you know, there's no browser on this. It's not like the Kindle where you've got, you know, even the, even though it's very slow and I don't really use it, but you know, there's a browser built into that. This is for drawing, it is for writing, it's for generating ideas. And then the connectivity is pretty much limited to the app that they have where you can load things like PDFs, you can load EPUBs, and then you can send an email to yourself, to someone else with the notes, with one page of the notes or all of it. And I'm going to come back to that in a minute because that's really important. But I like the idea that this is a disconnected tool. You know, I find myself using it and maybe sitting somewhere else or facing away from the screen so that, you know, I have that time to really just focus on what I'm doing and not be distracted. So that is definitely one of my first impressions. That was true. I thought that that might be the case for me. It definitely is. I really like it. Something else that I hadn't expected, but uh, I'm really liking so far is it's really great for margin writing in PDFs and EPUB digital books. So if uh, you have a, a PDF, you can resize it in here once you have it loaded if you want, or you can just write directly on it. So for an example, we'll just pull this up and take a look at this. So let's go with a one I was reading not too long ago, and I'll put it on the screen here. You can see just putting on some basic notes. This is really nice. And you've got these different pen options. Again, I'm not going to this isn't a product review. This is just the first impression, but you can change the pen size. You can use a highlighter. You could have it look more like a fine line or a pencil or use like a paintbrush. Although if you're probably uh, marking up a PDF, you're probably not going to be using the paintbrush. And then let's say you have that. So you review or you annotate your PDF. You can then send that out to yourself, maybe to another system that you use. Okay, so that said, though, the con so far for me might be the lack of connectivity to other services or integrations to easily move because once I have it here, that's great. But, you know, it's connected world. I use other tools. For myself right now, I heavily use ClickUp as a project management tool. And a lot of times I'm outlining ideas that I want to share with others or delegate to other people. And so to get it into there, I can do it, but it's not automatic. So for myself, what I did immediately was set up a Zap in Zapier. So that when I email it to Zapier to a specific address I set up, it then forwards it on into my inbox and click up so that it's there as an attachment and I can go from there, send it whoever I need to do. You could do the same thing for other tools. It wouldn't have to be click up. This is something you could automate. So maybe if you forward it to that email, it goes to another email address. Although you could just add another email address on the Remarkable. It could be sent to a Slack channel. You could do all sorts of things. So I think setting that up really takes the utility and the connection of this up, but it would be nice to see some basic integrations, I think. So the bottom line right now I see is, you know, I highly recommend checking this out. If you know that getting away from the computer screen helps your output and the clarity, and you like writing or doodling by hand, okay? Because if you know, you're know you not looking to do a lot of things by hand, then this isn't gonna be for you. But if you do enjoy doing this by hand, you know it actually does feel, it's not exactly I don't know how I would describe, is it exactly like writing on paper? It probably depends on what you're using to write with, what type of paper, but it's got that feel to it that makes you, you know, you feel like you're writing on a regular surface, which is really nice. It's not the, like a, 
smooth stylus on a smooth screen. It's not that it, you get the kind of light scratchy feeling, I guess is the best way I can put that. One interesting bonus that doesn't apply very well to myself, but if your handwriting isn't terrible, then the remarkable system, you can have it turn it into text. So you could write a checklist, how, you know, just write a lot and it will translate that into digital text and send that to you, which is really cool. I've tested it. It actually worked pretty well for, for myself. My handwriting is not very good. So I was pretty impressed. I just don't think that I'm going to be using that a lot. I think I'll probably just send myself um, a PDF of whatever I wrote and deal with it from there. So looking forward to sharing some more about how this kind of evolves as far as my use of it, how and where I use it, and then the automations that I put in place to really help kind of bolster this and make it part of the systems that I use. So if you have any questions or ideas about automations or connections you'd like to see, or specific questions about the tablet itself, by all means, leave a comment below or head over to Productivity Academy and let me know.